trying to get you into slavery. Or, if you want something more substantial, use some foam core. You'll have one that's like this that you can use the rule of thirds on. You can use this when you're figuring out your compositions for your paintings, your drawings. So that's what we're going to make. So stick around and I will show you how I made that. To, in order to make one of these, you can have you know, just a basic square out of a light piece of paper and figure out your composition that way. Or, as you can see, this kind of droops on one side when you hold it with one hand. It distorts this square pretty, pretty significantly sometimes. But that's good in a pinch. But I prefer to use uh, foam core. It just gives you something with a little more substance. And you'll need some foam core, a cardboard pencil, a ruler or straight edge, some tape. This is just some dental floss that we got from the dentist office. And a pair of scissors and a sharp knife. And make sure it's sharp. And that's it. Okay, this is a five by eight piece of foam core. So it gives me something with a little more substance. You can use heavy cardboard or whatever you. And what I'm gonna do is go in two inches. And mark that puppy. And then two inches on this side. Let me square this up on the cutting board, cutting mat. And then I could have drawn these diagonal lines first if I'd wanted to. That one's a little off. See how it's not in the corner. So let me redo that. This is more a utilitarian item than a beautiful item. And make this parallel the edge. But watch this when you cut those sides that you're not getting it cattywampus. And then take your, your knife, your utility knife, your craft knife, Just like cutting a mat, you want to go really light at first and then a little more pressure and we'll just cut each one of these edges. And you may want to save this, this little piece that goes in here. And let's measure this. This is four inches. So we want to take and go in one and a third from each end. You could measure this and be exact, but 
we all know I'm not a mathematician. So I'm going to just kind of eyeball it here. I've got four squares in there. So about there, about there. Trying to divide this up into relatively equal thirds. Unfortunately, when I went to edit this, I realized that my camera went cockeyed. And so I am going to talk you through the rest of this. What you want to do is you'll figure out the thirds on this way, the thirds this way, and you're going to measure all the way across where you made those marks. So I'd take a ruler and go all the way across and mark that. It, it's underneath here. You can see it on that one. And then on each one of these marks, where it goes on the outside edge, take your utility knife and just kind of notch it on each one carefully. You can see I've just made a little notch right here. Do that on all eight spots. Then you're going to take your dental floss and secure it on one side it all the way and fit it in the notch in the other side. You're putting the dental floss in these notches and then do that on each side. And you don't want the dental floss to go over this twice. You just want it over once. And then you'll cut it and secure it and with tape. I think this is where I realized the camera went wonky. So I'll take you back to that. So that's where you are. You can use either some painter's tape, some scotch tape, just plain old tape tape. If you have some nice strong washi tape, it's super sticky and you don't want to use it on your paper because it pulls it up. That would be great. Let's pull that taut. And just do that on each one. And then you've got a you've got a viewfinder that will cut it into thirds for you, which is which is ideal. You can put another piece of like paper on here and you know cut this shape out of just regular paper or craft paper and cover all this up, or you can just take it as is. And if you keep this little square, you can put it in there to protect it for traveling. And then just punch it out from the other side. And you can see, you can help choose your composition. And you can use this to block off areas if you don't want, you know, if you want there, if you want that to be your composition. So there you go, you got yourself a handy dandy viewfinder. If you haven't already, I would appreciate it if you would consider subscribing and also giving a thumbs up. And I will see you next time. Bye bye.